Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope of faith and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. When it is reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, 
Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why, we have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers, six hundred first-class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with warriors on them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them. Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers, caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea at Pihahiroth in front of Baal Zephon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw that the Egyptians were on the march in pursuit of them. In great fright, they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses, Were there no burial places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert? Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Live us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. Far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. This Egyptians whom you see today will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, and you lift up your staff and, with hand outstretched over the sea, Split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we can Oh, na pikinig ako sa iyong 
mga salita. Alleluia, allelu, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will arise with a generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and there is something greater than Solomon here. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Gaano kalalim ang ating pananampalataya? Gaano kahigpit ang ating pagkapit sa Diyos? In our first reading, my dear brothers and sisters, is the continuation of the great story of the people Israel, wherein by the mighty power of God, through Moses, He liberated His chosen people from the bondage of slavery, in the place where they were slaves, in Egypt. It is said that these people are God's chosen one. And so, when they were crying, crying, crying to the Lord, remembering their God, remembering the God of their ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God heard them and sent Moses to liberate them. And so in the process of liberation, there were moments of difficulties. There were moments that they were uncomfortable. There were moments that somehow, ang kanilang pananampalataya ay medyo nag-50-50. In the narrative that we have read, palabas na sila ng Egypto. At Nagbagong isip ang paraon at sila ay sinugod sinundan. Nakita ito ng Israelita at sila ay natakot. At sa kanilang takot, binalikan nila si Moises. They were complaining, complaining again that somehow along the process of God's salvation for them, there were moments of uncertainties. There were moments by which gusto na lang nilang bumalik. Gusto na lang nilang doon na lang kami, sana hindi na lang tayo nagpaligtas. Sana hindi na lang kami nagdasal. Sana hindi ka na lang dumating. In the like manner, my dear brothers and sisters, in our journey, in our faith, no? faith journey, sometimes I guess we are like this. No? We say that we have faith in God. We say that we have somehow complete trust in Him. But at times, when pag nagigipit na, kapag tipong hindi na tayo nakakasigurado, kapag alam natin hindi na natin kontrol ang mangyayari, bumabaliktad tayo inuunahan tayo ng takot at nakakalimutan natin ang una nating naging dasal 
na sana dinggi ng Diyos ang ating panalangin. At ang pinaka-worst pa, hindi na tayo kalmado. Fear would elicit a lot of what? Emotions. Anger. Galit kay Moses. Anger. Galit sa Diyos. Dahil hindi napakinggan, hindi na sigurado, nanganganib na ako. And these are valid emotions. These are somehow normal, no? Pero I guess it invites us to dig in deeper. That's why I ask you in the first part, how deep is your faith? Gaano kahigpit ang pagkapit natin sa Diyos? I'd like us to focus on this three instruction of God in the first reading. Do not be afraid. Know that I am God. And be still. Do not be afraid. Huwag matakot. Dahil ako ang may control sa lahat. You prayed that I will save you. And I heard your prayer by sending a prophet, Moses. Moses is not even the one in control. Who is in control? God. And so when we have fear, nakakalimot, That's why God is reminding, No! No! Be reminded that I am God. And lastly, this is very, very important. Be still. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Kalma ka lang. Kalma lang tayo. Kapag may mga pagkakataon na may pangamba, kapag may mga pagkakataon na wala nang kasiguraduhan, ang pinaka-assurance lang natin, Diyos ang may hawak sa lahat. God is just asking us, sit back and relax. I am the one in control. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Mass, Let us pray to the Lord that we will always be reminded by these three instruction of God. Huwag matakot. Alalahaning siya ang Diyos. Kalmado lang tayo at siya ang bahala sa lahat. Amen. Please stand. Jonah discovered that there is no gentle, there is no getting away from the Lord. We now turn in prayer to God, the Father, for the grace to change our lives and to believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. In every prayer, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church may, may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil behaviors and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that families and communities may always seek peace, unity, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all our brothers and sisters in Myanmar, those who are suffering and those fighting for justice and peace against the violence and unrest 
caused by military junta. May they continue to experience the strength to work for peace, trusting in God's never-failing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that peace may be restored in Myanmar through the sacrifices offered by its citizens and our solidarity with them in denouncing violence, injustice, and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son. As from all eternity you willed his resurrection, associate us with him forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is, as it in, is heaven. in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
อาเมน Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of solidarity with me and Mar. All together, God, our loving Father, you guide all creation with fatherly care. We humbly pray for our brothers and sisters in Myanmar in these trying times brought about by the military junta and COVID-19. Many of them are suffering, hungry, sick, victims of violence displaced from their homes and separated from families. Look upon them with mercy and protect them from all harm and unite them in justice and peace. We pray for all who stand for truth and justice. May your Holy Spirit strengthen them in the assurance that peacemakers are your children and that their sacrifice and labor will bear fruit with your grace. We pray, we pray for, for all those who cause these sufferings and violence, that you may touch their hearts and lead them to repentance and change of hearts. Bring, bring all of us together peacefully into one, into one family and keep us all united in brotherly love. We ask this through our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives, who lives and reigns with you in the, in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission. Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. We give our yes.